What's going on guys? It's Matthew here with Gadget University and I am back. This time I have the official OTA Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 update for the Nexus S by Samsung. And before I turn this phone on, I want to say that this phone is a brand new phone guys. It is like a completely different beast. Now the specs of this phone is a 512 megabytes of RAM, gigahertz processor, um, nothing too fancy, but it handles ice cream sandwich like a champ. Uh, so as you can see right now, here's the lock screen now. Uh, I have wi I am connected to Wi-Fi, and in the top right you can see that Wi-Fi and your cellular signal as well as your battery life. It's very subtle, very minimal. I love it. If you look at it, it doesn't take up too much of your screen quick straight to the point the uh, lock screen when you do the pattern lock the dots are a little bit different now and as you can see I have a live wallpaper running in the background so let me go ahead and show that to you you see how it looks a little bit different oh that's the wrong password okay I don't care if you guys know my password because you'll never touch my phone so don't don't call me an idiot for showing you my password alright so let's get to the home screen now same as before in the previous review it was just a beta build this is the official one so things are much snappier um, I'm clicking on things I'm not supposed to okay things are much snappier you can see a little bit of lag there but overall the experience is much better since this is the Nexus S and not the Galaxy Nexus you you still have your back menu search and home key at the bottom the on-screen navigation you know, soft keys are not there only because you have the capacitive ones on the bottom of the screen. So, if you notice, the, the search key still brings up searching, but it actually brings up a whole program. If you guys are wondering something, I am actually have some diagnostic modes on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn those off really quick. Uh, you saw that red ring around the screen. That basically lets me know when the phone is not running its best. And it's in the developer options. It's called strict mode. You can turn it off. And basically the description of strict mode is flash screen when apps do long operations on main thread. Also I have show touches. So it actually shows me when I'm touching the screen. You see a little circle that's showing up? It's pretty neat. I like it. I left it on. But I'll go ahead and turn it off for the sake of the uh, review. Let's go ahead and get back to the main attraction which is the launcher again. Sorry about that interruption. But you see the you hit search, it brings up a whole other menu where you can search. Um, you can do voice search as well. Where can I find the nearest Walmart? And it still pulls up the main screen. It's actually pulling up a web browser search for the nearest Walmart. And there you go. It's a little slow because this is the guy, excuse me, the Nexus S, so it's not necessarily the uh, fastest phone out there. Widgets are resizable still. Um, you can move them around to different screens. Things are very fluid. You also have folders, which I made one called Social, and basically you just drag one icon into the other. It works a lot like iOS, and uh, I, Apple had that coming to them especially the way they upgraded iOS 5 but you just drag an item in here and it just shows it just like that the thing I like about these folders is that it kind of does not like a cascaded view I'm going to zoom in a little bit here if you see there's like a cascaded view of what's actually in the folders and that's very nice once you go into the folder you can actually name it uh, or you can leave it unnamed uh, to your liking um, if you leave it unnamed it doesn't affect anything but it's very cool because you click on it and it comes up very snappy. So you see I got the Google Currents, Google Talk. I made a folder just called Google. Um, live wallpaper in the background like I said before. Uh, here's my live, my interactive uh, widget for YouTube. This is really cool. Watch this. Once I go past the thing this point, it moves to the next one. But I could go back up. Oh, nah, I'm good. And what's that? It's pretty cool. Uh, you can scroll the widgets here, you see. Also, um, you can resize them. Let me resize it over here. I'll remove that. You can resize it. You can take it to the left, to the right. 
Also, if you want to add the clock back, you just kind of, here's the, the new app, application drawer. Go to the left, to the right. Also, it goes right into your widgets. So when you get to the end of your apps, it goes right into your widgets. Or you can just hit the switcher at the top. But let's go to the widgets because that's what we want to do. And we want to add the clock back. Widgets are pretty much the same. Um, also, you see at the top, you can actually access the settings from here. I mean, this is like, uh, I feel like a kid in a candy store because the, the beta that I had on the previous video that you saw was much, it was a little bit like this, but it wasn't as fluid. And uh, the experience on this is just phenomenal. Um, widgets are the same pretty much as Honeycomb and a little bit from the Android. The only thing that's really different is the people applications or the people widget which basically if you go here to the people widget it just shows you all your favorite contacts and it also brings them up to like you see the people that have the green icon next to it those are people who are on my google talk so you can actually go there and see different things it's pretty cool because it actually shows their status updates i can go to cameron right on here and you can go to see the status updates what's new also the um, if you go here and select the menu, the settings menu, things are broken up a little bit different. You can have a data usage menu as well where you can set limits to your data to automatically disable stuff, which is really cool because you can actually see which apps use the most data. And I think that is awesome because you see I spend a lot of time on the web and YouTube and that will eat a lot of data. So in the last two days I've already used 206 megabytes. So if I was on a two gigabyte plan, um, that's probably a, a, a large chunk of my plan right there um, so it's pretty cool you can actually disable some apps from using data in the background it gives you a lot of control over your data and with carriers going with the tiered data around I think that's very good to have uh, let's go to the about phone so you can see the version this is 4.03 also if you tap on here a bunch of times you get a little Easter egg and you get to see the little ice cream sandwich Android man And you get this little cool animation, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> little cool things like that make this this phone just pretty cool. Um, like I said, this phone has been out for a while, but if you want the best experience, you're gonna have to get the Galaxy Nexus. Overall, I'm very excited for this phone to have this update. Um, it's pretty much giving it a new new leak on life. Uh, unlike you know the Nexus One, when after it got gingerbread, it kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, this is actually still kicking. Um, I don't think it'll get the next update next year, whatever they call it, Jelly Bean or whatever. I don't think this will get the next update, but more than likely, of course, the Galaxy Nexus would. Uh, let me show you some of the other apps that run really well on Ice Cream Sandwich. And one thing is Google Currents. It's taking a while to load. I'm not sure why. Probably because of the phone. Uh, but this is basically a magazine type reader, kind of like Pulse or uh, what's the other one? Flipboard for iPhone. But if you touch here, you can uh, see your favorite sites like GadgetU.net in a different way kind of like a magazine and it brings up everything here you can change it that way there we go you kind of move over to the left to the right it's pretty nice it's kind of like a reader format for iPhone but a little bit better Overall, guys, very good experience. If you have a Nexus S, uh, don't rush out to go buy a Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you're going to get pretty much the same experience on here. Like I said, of course, uh, the Galaxy Nexus is much faster, but this is still a good phone to have, guys. All right, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'm running out of time. I will see you in my next video. Peace.